Uh, thank you. So I'm Yoni from the UCSC Genomics Institute. I'm going to talk about GBWT graph, which is a byproduct of my work on VG. Okay, data model is a graph as an alignment of haplotypes. We have a graph that tells which positions in the haplotypes are equivalent, and we have the haplotypes that tell which parts in the graph make sense. Okay, so it's based on the GBWT, as you might guess, which we developed for storing haplotypes of parts over the VG graph. The parts are really node sequences, which we store in an FM index. Now, as you could see from the figure, the FM index of already stores the topology of a graph. It's not necessarily the same graph as the original graph which we were working on, but it's the one induced by the haplotypes. It might not contain the edges or nodes that are not used in any haplotypes. Okay, so if we just add the sequences stored in the nodes, the GBWT becomes a fully functional graph representation. We could rep replace, the, well, in many applications, we could replace the other graph representations with this already. And then the nice thing about this is that when we traverse a part in the graph, we can easily tell how many haplotypes support that part. And easily but a bit slowly tell which haplotypes support the part. Okay. Now we develop this for the giraffe, which is our working progress. It's going to be hopefully a fast haplotype aware short read to graph aligner. The basic idea is that because the haplotypes already contain most real indels and because Illumina reads in the Illumina reads, the sequencing errors are mostly substitutions. We can hopefully align almost all reads to, to, hap, to haplotypes without any indels. So that, that use, this would speed up the alignment very much because we don't have to use dynamic programming almost ever. At this point, it's kind of, kind of good. It's about as fast as BWAMM. And which means it's several times faster than VG map. Now this has started as a byproduct because it made developing a graph representation based on the GBWT made working with GBWT easier. So in the future, maybe this week, I'm going to develop a standalone GBWT graph implementation that doesn't require the entire VG. The dependencies are basically lib handle graph for the interface, GBWT for the implementation, and SDSL for low-level data structures. And then explore various improvements to GBWT graph and well, maybe what, what kind of interface we need, really need for the, that kind of graph. And then, because it really started as a byproduct, I don't really know what application this could have, but maybe there are some. Okay, thank you.